This week we are going to do a small bit of further work on this Lenovo IdeaPad 5. You may remember in video 160 and 161 we were working on this. It was a power on with no display, all the voltage rails were in line and we had checked all of these power on no display checklist items. So we had gone down as far as reprogramming the BIOS. So the next step was to reprogram the BIOS. Now when I took the main BIOS IC and loaded it in this was what I found. It was saying that we had the version number and it was saying the file system state was initialized. I created a clean BIOS file as you can see here it's cleaned and now configured which indicates that the BIOS ME region is clean. I loaded that onto the motherboard but still I was not getting any success. I also tried to download multiple different uh, BIOS files from badcaps.net and other sources for both the main BIOS and the EC BIOS but I just can't get this to power on at all. So at this point I have pretty much exhausted everything that's within my capability with regards to getting this board back working again. But there was one thing that I remembered from earlier on. When I was taking down all of the voltages, one curious thing I noticed was that there was no power going to these two USB Type A ports. Now these two USB Type A's are on the little daughter board where the power button is. The power button is actually on the other side. But when I measured all around these ICs and on the pins of these USB ports, I couldn't find any 5 volts. So the one last thing I wanted to check with this motherboard is just to see if we are getting 5 volts down to the ICs that are responsible for producing the USB power. And to check and see is there possibly a short somewhere there that is preventing 5 volts coming online for the USBs and maybe that that is possibly preventing the PC from turning on also. So let's check that. So from a schematic we see that we have USB power SW and we have this IC right here. So as you can see we're meant to get our plus 5 volt ALW into this IC and then out of it we have an output on pin 1 which is USB underscore VCCB. Now as well as our input pin number 5 and our output pin number 1, we have a ground pin on 2, we have an enable pin on 4 to tell this whether to switch on or not, and we have OCB on pin number 3 which I've checked out and is actually over current protection. So this IC is labelled UI3001 and if you look at this upside down we have UI3001 which refers to this IC right here. To help everybody to see this more clearly, I have marked in the pinouts for this IC. So as you can see, on pin number 5 we have an input, so I should be expecting to find our plus 5 volt ALW power rail here. We have an enable pin here. I'm not sure whether that's meant to be high or low to switch on, I'll check the data sheet. But the signal that comes on to the enable pin tells this IC whether to switch on or not. The output of course is here on pin number 1. That's actually connected down to the USB ports and we need to check and see if there's an output voltage here. Number 2 is a ground pin and our overcurrent protection is on 3. So I connected this laptop motherboard to power and took some measurements around this IC. And these are the measurements that I took around the IC. So as you can see we are getting our plus 5 volt ALW power rail onto pin 5 which is our input. Our enable pin is 3.2 volts but our output pin number 1 is 0.0, .0 volts. Now a lot of you might be looking at this and saying well we're getting our correct enable signal so why are we not getting the output? Maybe the IC is blown. However that is not the case because this is actually enabled when pin 4 is low. But how can I prove that this IC switches on when the enable pin is low? Well what I decided to do was jumper from enable pin 4 to ground. So I just introduced a jumper wire between the two of these. That brings the enable pin to 0.0, .0 volts. And when I did that I then checked the output signal and the output signal then went to 5.12 volts. That also proved to me that the IC itself is actually working as it should. The reason that we're not getting power to the USB ports is that the system is sending 3.2 volts down to the enable pin here which is keeping this switched off. 
And one final check I carried out on this IC was just to confirm that there was no short on the output. So I disconnected all power and took a measurement in diode mode and what I found is it was measuring 0.54 volts in diode mode on the output. So there is no short. On the other side of the board I located this IC UI3002. When we look at the schematic we can see that UI3002 is labelled as USB charger 2.2 amp. On pin 1 it accepts an input of plus 5 volts ALW and on pin 12 we have an output which is then labelled as USB underscore VCCA. So in the same way that we check the input and the output on the other USB IC I want to check the input and the output for this. I really should have cleaned this down with a toothbrush and some alcohol before I scanned it in because you can see when I zoom in it also zooms in on the dirt. But in any case these are the pinouts for this IC. So as we saw from our schematic we have our input comes in on pin number 1. We have an enable pin on number 5 and we have our output on pin number 12. So the measurements I took around this IC are as follows. So on the input I measured 5.12 volts. On the enable pin I measured 1.1 volts and on the output similar to the other IC I measured 0.0, .0 volts. On our enable pin, pin number 5, we are getting 1.1 volt. Now I'm not certain what an appropriate enable pin signal is in order to switch this IC on and to give us an output. But what I tried was to jumper from pin 5 to ground, this side of the capacitor here, and when I did that, the output went to 5.12 volts. The last check I carried out with this IC was to disconnect our power adapter so that there's no voltage on the board, and change my multimeter to diode mode and check the output to see if we have a short. But when I checked there, I measured 0.51 volts in diode mode which proved that we had no short on the output. Sometimes you can have a short on the output of these USB ICs where somebody might have physically damaged the port and crossed a couple of the pins. But on this motherboard I'm detecting no shorts on either of the USB power rails. I've checked the USB ports also and there is no damage. The reason that the USB ICs are not switching on is because they're being told to stay switched off by the system which is sending it down the appropriate enable signal to keep the IC switched off. That was quite a long and rambling sentence. I hope everybody understood clearly what I was trying to explain there. I really should script some of these to try and make the videos as clear as possible. Now unfortunately that is where I have to leave it with this Lenovo IdeaPad 5. I have really exhausted everything within my capabilities at the moment to try and get this working and unfortunately I still haven't got it to power on. I think it may be a bad CPU or chipset or possibly a bad EC but that's as far as I can take it. Next week I'm going to go on to the second hand sites and see if I can find another laptop to make some content with. Please join me next week and we'll hopefully learn something.